have you ever seen the news about stock markets just getting billions and trillions of US dollars and wondered how such stock markets work? And more importantly, how to design a profitable trading strategy? Before we begin wondering about what this has to do with AI and data mining, I would like to introduce myself and our talk. I'm Shivam, and I'll be going over a brief overview of our work exploring the scale-free nature of stock markets, hyperbolic graph learning for algorithmic trading. I'll start with the one-slide overview of my talk, beginning with the observation that making profitable investment decisions is a challenging task, as stock prices are influenced by various factors that include industry performance, company performance, and interstock relations. Conventional neural methods focus mainly on technical analysis and relied mainly on numerical features. However, financial theories show that stocks are often interrelated to each other and there exist rich signals in the relationships between stocks. Some recent studies show the effectiveness of modeling stock interdependence via graphs and networks by improving the predictive power of neural stock forecasting. However, these methods do not account for the scale of nature in stock markets, where the stock graphs may exhibit strong node degree heterogeneity and the node degrees follow a power law distribution. The scale free nature in stock markets arises due to the presence of a few highly connected influential stocks, also called as the hubs. The price of fluctuation in these usually large hubs impact the movement of other related stocks. For instance, consider the effect of movements and fluctuations in stock prices of Kuchar Mutai, a highly influential China A shares. Commonly used graph based methods such as graph convolution networks represent scale-free graphs in the Euclidean space, which leads to high distortion in the node embeddings. In contrast, typical properties of scale-free networks, such as long tail degree distributions and presence of highly connected nodes, generalize well in the hyperbolic space. We model stock interdependence using graphs, where the nodes of the graph represent the stocks and the edges represent the relations between the stocks. We introduce domain knowledge in the graph via two types of relations, namely corporate relations and sector industrial relations. The corporate relations are two types. Number one, first order. First order relations are connected, direct connections between companies. For instance, Berkshire Hathaway owns Wells Fargo and hence connected by a first order relation. Whereas a second order relation is a indirect connection through an intermediate entity. For instance, Amazon and Apple are connected through a second order relation as State Street Corporation owns both of them. Lastly, a sector industrial relation is defined for stocks belonging to the common sector industry grouping. Let us now explore the scale-free nature of the stock market. Financial studies suggest that stock graphs are often skewed and characterize the presence of large hubs. For instance, one of the most commonly occurring hubs are conglomerate companies, which tend to be less affected by industry-specific factors and are more affected by global stock behaviors. Intuitively, these influential companies are generally large capitalization talks, stocks and share a high degree of correlation with other stocks. Such correlation between stocks leads to the emergence of scale-free nature in stock markets, where highly influential nodes are the hubs in the graph. The scale-free structure of the stock markets manifests itself as a power of distribution and the node degrees at least asymptotically. Furthermore, scale-free graphs show tree-like properties which are better represented in the hyperbolic space. We compute the delta hyperbolicity and measure how tree-like a graph is. The lower the delta value, the more hyperbolic the graph is. We study four of the world's biggest stock markets, IC, NASDAQ, TAC, and China. We find the degree distribution and hyperbolicity of NICE and NASDAQ in the figure shown. Both TAC and China have a similar degree distribution compared to NICE and NASDAQ with a hyperbolicity of zero. We observe that the degree distribution of the stock graphs follow power law distribution and have low delta hyperbolicities, indicating the presence of hubs in these graphs. We formulate stock prediction problem as a learning to rank problem where a model is directly optimized towards ranking profitable stocks. Rather than using absolute prices, we rank based on normalized return ratio of the stock. Given stock price data of previous TDs, we aim to learn a ranking function that outputs a score to rank each stock in terms of the expected profit. Based on the predicted ranking list, traders invest their money into what they believe to be the most profitable stocks. We now present an overview of our model hyperstock gap for stock ranking. As shown in the figure below, we first extract price features using historical prices and construct the stock graph. These features are fed into the attentive temporal convolution and then mapped to the hyperbolic space. We then employ hyperbolic graph convolution to capture correlations between stocks and obtain the ranking list. Let us now discuss each of the components in detail. 
Let us start with the attentive temporal con convolution. Financial literature shows that historic stock prices are a strong indicator of future trends. Use historic prices from a period of T days and calculate the one day return ratio, 5, 10, 20, and 30 day moving averages, which represent the daily, weekly, and monthly trends. Studies have shown that stock features of each day have a different impact on the future prices. To this end, we employ a temporal attention mechanism which learns to weigh critical days that impact the future stock prediction. The temporal attention mechanism is followed by a one dimensional causal convolution which extracts temporal dependency between stock features from each day. Let us now move on to the spatial front. To capture the dependencies in price movements of related stocks, we employ a graph convolution over the inter stock relation graph. Building on the scale-free nature of stock markets, we propose to use a graph convolution in the hyperbolic space as opposed to standard graph convolution in the Euclidean space. As shown in the figure below, we first map outputs of the attentive temporal convolution to the hyperbolic space using exponential mapping. We then use the hyperbolic linear transform to learn more expressive features. Next, we update the extracted hyperbolic features of each node by aggregating neighboring stocks features. To learn the varying degree of each stock may have on other stocks, we employ attention mechanism over in the hyperbolic space. <clears throat> we sandwich spatial hyperbolic convolution and attentive temporal convolution as shown in the figure. The spatial hyperbolic convolution acts as a bridge between the two attentive temporal convolutions. This design choice allows propagation of spatially updated features along the time axis through temporal convolutions. Finally, we optimize hyperstock gap using a combination of pointwise regression and pairwise ranking aware loss to minimize the difference between the predicted and actual return ratios while maintaining the relative order of top ranked stocks. We train and evaluate a model on four real world datasets from US, Japanese, and Chinese stock markets spanning over six years. To assess the profitability of all methods, we compare Sharpe ratio and the investment return ratio, or simply IRR. The IRR is the cumulative return of an investment over time, whereas the Sharpe ratio is a measure of a portfolio compared to its risk. We use a daily buy hold sell strategy. That is, when the stock market closes on trading day T, the trader uses the method to get a ranked list of stocks. The trader then buys the top K stocks and then sells the bought stocks in the closing price of the next day. We probe hyperstocks GATS ranking ability and profitability from each of its components in the table shown below. First, we observe the temporal attention mechanism improves temporal convolution so that it can effectively learn important long-term and short-term dependencies. We know the biggest improvements on adding the hyperbolic graph convolution, empirically validating the effectiveness of factoring in interstock relations, particularly via hyperbolic space, which better captures the scale-free nature of stock market. Next, we note that adding hyperbolic attention leads to gains, likely because some relations are more important than others. Finally, we observe that it's the spatial hyperbolic graph attention and temporal attention mechanism complement each other by capturing latent spatial temporal correlations via hyperbolic learning in the stock market. Noting the biggest improvements on adding the hyperbolic graph convolution, we now investigate the impact of modeling stock relationships via ordinary GCNs. To quantify the improvement from hyperbolic learning in hyperstock GAT, we compare it with the Euclidean counterpart in table. Specifically, we replace the hyperbolic graph convolution with the traditional graph convolution and hyperbolic graph attention with the ordinary graph attention network. We observe significant improvements on introducing hyperbolic learning for representing the underlying graph structure. This improvement empirically validates that hyperbolic learning equips hyperstock GAT with geometrically appropriate inductive biases for better representing the inherent scale free nature of the stock graphs and capturing the impact of highly influential stocks. Now investigate the ability of hyperstock GAT to capture the impact of highly influential stocks. We probe the impact of highly influential stocks and the effectiveness of domain knowledge on hyperstock GAT's ranking performance. We start by sorting the nodes in the descending order of the node degree and identify the hubs in the scale free network. We then successively remove these edges of the corresponding hubs. Then we compare the model with the Euclidean variant by replacing the hyperbolic graph attention with ordinary GAT. We observe that the NDCG decreases for both models as we remove the edges, and they perform the worst after all edges are removed, essentially degenerating both models to a temporal model. An interesting observation is that as we isolate the most influential hubs, hyperstock GAT performance drops sharply, as hyperstock GAT is unable to learn from the strong, strong price correlations between these hubs and other stocks. 
We compare hyperstar gap to the state of the art methods for varying formulations in terms of profit plate in the table shown below. We observe that hyperstar gap consistently generates significantly larger risk adjusted returns than all baselines across all markets. Generally, banking and other methods that are inherently optimized for higher returns are more profitable than classification and regression methods. We also observe that amongst the best performing ranking and other models, those that model interstock dependence outperform price only methods. Next, we observe that hyperstock gap achieves an average of 9% more risk adjusted returns compared to the best baselines for markets with high hyperbolicity. This observation suggests that graph neural networks can significantly benefit from hyperbolic geometry, especially in stock markets which exhibit scale free nature. We now further probe the impact of historical context and stock prediction. We study the variation in hyperstock gap's performance with varying lengths of lookback window in the figure shown. We observe that using shorter lookbacks lead to poorer performance, likely because of lower market information in the window. As we increase the length of the window, we find that larger lookbacks allow the inclusion of stale information having lower influence on price prediction, therefore deteriorating the performance. However, hyperstock at using temporal tension is able to selectively filter crucial information from longer windows to an extent. I would now like to conclude my talk with some highlights on the future prospects of this work. We formulate stock selections as a learning to rank problem and model interstock relations based on domain knowledge as a graph. Building on financial theories on stock markets, we analyze the scale free nature of stock networks and propose hyperstock GAT. Hyperstock GAT leverages spatial graph convolutions in the hyperbolic space to capture the scale free nature of interstock relations. A proposed hyperstock GAT can be directly generalized for hyperbolic spatial temporal learning problems in varying domains such as time evolving graphs, social networks, citation networks, and many more. Thanks a lot for watching our presentation. If you have any questions regarding our work, please feel free to get in touch with us through any media.